So, hey guys, I am Jaydeep here. Uh, today, I will be talking about how to do the decidability problems. Okay. Now, one thing to note is that uh, what I am saying is intuitive, but it follows everywhere if you apply it carefully. And the full credits of this technique uh, goes to my sir, uh, RSV sir of Vision Gate, who taught me this. Okay. Uh, I didn't know uh, how to do this, but he taught me, and he had come up with this technique in his fourth year. So let's start. So before we start the problem, uh, you should know the three things about the TM. Okay, the TM will I uh, will accept the language means accept the string. Okay, if you have given a string as an input to a Turing machine, either it will accept, either it will reject that string, or the third case it will loop. Okay, when it is looping indefinitely. In that case, you can't say it is accepting the string or rejecting the string. Okay, so remember that thing, and this is the most important thing, which uh, where you are bound to make the mistake. Okay, now one more important thing: the complement of acceptance. Okay, is rejection union loop. Okay, so remember this thing. Okay if the uh, what is the complement of acceptance it is the it means that either the string has been rejected by the turing machine or it's been looping indefinitely on that string okay so this is very more important thing also similarly the complement of reject will be either accept or loop okay so keep this thing in mind now whenever you have to solve the question uh, i will tell you how you should ask the machine see if something is recursive it means that Turing machine can say yes and no, both of the things for any given input string. Okay, remember that. If something is non recursive, okay, non recursive, so Turing machine can't say yes, can't say no, okay, uh, like. <coughs> Uh, we will see the examples further. Uh, so, and there is something called as recursively enumerable, where Turing machine says yes only if the string belongs to the uh, only if the machine accepts the string, okay? And otherwise, it may or may not say no if the string don't belong to the language, okay? So, let's see the examples directly. So, what is L1? M is a Turing machine and there exists an input on which M halts in less than these many steps. Okay. Now one thing to uh, remember, this is what is called as encoding of a Turing machine. Okay. Turing machines encoding and it can be done in binary. Okay. So it will be some sort of string, a binary string, which will contain the number of states, the number of transitions. Okay. Like that. It's somehow encoded in a binary or uh, if you want to read exactly how it is been encoded uh, you should definitely read the uh, Ullman okay so that's where it's been mentioned how the encoding has been done for the Turing machine but for the matter of uh, fact you just remember that this is how the Turing machine has been encoded in binary so if I give if I give you this you can build a Turing machine okay like the DFA type how you build state and all you can do that from this okay so now the question is M is a Turing machine and there exists an input on which M halts in less than these many steps. Okay. Now, if you want to do this, what you will do, you will take all the strings from length zero to this much, right? Because if the length of the string is greater than this, right? In that case, string will never be accepted, right? Because input has to be finished before you accept the string. So length of the string must be from zero to this much. Okay, now while you are working on these strings, if any input from 0 to of this length gets accepted, you will say yes, the input is getting accepted. So if the strings, if any of the string from of length less than uh, less than or equal to this much is getting accepted by the Turing machine, Turing machine will respond yes. And in that case, you will say yes, there exists an input on which M is halting in less than this many steps right so this is where you are able to say whether the particular uh, string will be halting in less than or equal to 
uh, the encoding length right now let's see a little bit better question so the what the question say is that m is a set some given turing machine right m is a turing machine and the language accepted by m has to be less than or equal to 3 now how will you check what what number of uh, strings are been accepted by the turing machine for that you will have to iterate all the strings right iterate all the strings and you will have to check whether the string is been getting accepted or not right now suppose you are uh, processing uh, you are giving input strings one by one to the turing machine right now say the turing machine literally uh, accepts only three strings say a a a a and a b right but when you have been asked whether the cardinality of a language was accepted by the Turing machine m is less than or equal to 3, you can't just check for the finite number of strings. You will have to iterate over the all infinite number of strings, right? Because you can't say, okay, I have checked 1 billion strings and for that the language cardinality of the language accepted by m is less than or equal to 3. Right, because this doesn't guarantee that there won't be any string further, like the two billion string may get accepted and break the rule, right? So even if the language accepted by the Turing machine has the cardinality less than or equal to three, you can't say yes, the language accepted by the Turing machine has the cardinality less than or equal to three. See, even if the Turing machine has the the language of the Turing machine has the cardinality less than or equal to three, you can't say yes also, right? Because if you want to say yes, you will have to iterate all the strings, okay? And how many strings are there? There are infinite strings. So even if the language accepted by M has the cardinality less than or equal to 3, you can never ever say that the uh, language accepted by this Turing machine has the cardinality less than or equal to 3 because you can never iterate over all the strings, right? So even if the Turing machine is following the criteria, you are not able to say yes. So this is non re where you can't say uh, yeah, uh, true when, uh, when the criteria is been accepted, right? Now what is this? Uh, so see, uh, the M is a Turing machine and the language accepted by M has the cardinality, cardinality greater than or equal to 3. So say I am having one Turing machine. Now I have started iterating over all the strings, right? Now say suppose at the 10th billion string, I got the third string means total three inputs which got accepted by this language right so in that case can i say that the language accepted by m has the cardinality greater than or equal to three yes because i got the three strings for which the language which belongs to the language accepted by the turing machine now do i need to check all the uh, infinite string all infinite strings no see because Till the 10th billion I got the three inputs which are getting accepted by the Turing machine this guarantees that the language uh, the cardinality of a language accepted by M has to be greater than or equal to 3 right so in this case I was able to say yes that the language accepted by the Turing machine has the cardinality greater than or equal to 3 but say I have checked till the 12 billion strings okay and still I didn't, uh, I just got only two strings, okay, which are being accepted by this Turing machine. So can I say that, okay, I need to stop because there can't, uh, the machine won't accept the further input. No, I will have to iterate all the infinite possibilities. Are you getting this? So because of the fact that whenever the Turing machine is accepting only two strings, in that case, I can't say that the language or cardinality of a language accepted by Turing machine is not greater than or equal to 3, right? So when the Turing machine is not following the criteria, I am not able to tell whether it's true or not, right? Because by just checking 12 billion strings and getting only two accepted, I won't, I can't say that, okay, in the, till the infinity, it won't accept any of the string, right? I can't say that. So if Turing machine is not following the criteria, I can't say no, right? So if the machine is following the criteria, I can say yes, but if it's not, then I can't say no. So this is what we called as RE, okay? And this is RE, but not recursive because of the fact that we can say yes 
we can say whether the machine is accepting greater than or equal to means the cardinality of a language accepted by machine is greater than or equal to 3 but we can't say that the cardinality of a language accepted by machine is less than 2 or sorry less than or uh, less than 4 right so let's see one more example okay so see this is also a nice example m is a tm that accepts all the even numbers this is non ary why this is non ary suppose m is literally a turing machine which is accepting all the even numbers but if you have said check up to the 64 trillion and till the 64 trillion it has accepted all the even numbers does this guarantees that it will further accept all the even numbers no it won't guarantee right because in order to check whether the for all the infinite even numbers will getting accepted by the Turing machine or not, you will literally have to check the infinite number of strings, right? So even if the machine is accepting all the infinite even uh, numbers, right, you can't say that it is accepting, right? So this is what we called as non ary okay? So uh, let's do few more see this is m is a turing machine and language accepted by m is a finite okay so cardinality of a uh, language uh, the cardinality of the strings belonging to language is finite this we have to prove why this is non ary pause the video and uh, try to think okay so let me give you a reason suppose you have uh, tried uh, tried till the 10 uh, 10 billion numbers uh, sorry 10 billion strings and in that string only say 45k got accepted so can you say that the language accepts the only finite number of strings or the their cardinality of language is only finite no you really can't see infinity minus 10 billion it's still infinity right so it doesn't matter if it accepted only 45k out of this 10 billion what if it accepts all the rest of the strings and how many rest of the strings are infinite rest of the strings right so even if the turing machine is accepting only the finite number of strings still you can't say that okay uh, the turing machine is accepting only the finite number of strings because you will have to iterate over all the strings right so even if the turing machine is satisfying the criteria you are not able to tell that yes it is a satisfying the criteria okay so this was one of the good case mm, see uh, this is one fact which you should remember that the uh, any turing machine accepts only the cardinality of any turing machine is countable countable means either it will be finite or countably infinite okay so uh, remember this thing it's very important right so if you know this is by default true right so this is recursive if I give you encoding of a Turing machine and ask you whether the language accepted by the cardinality of language accepted by the Turing machine is countable yes you definitely know that yes it's always true so it's recursive you already know the answer similarly if I told you it's uncountable then also you also definitely know that no it is a false and you know the answer so this is also recursive okay now if you have any doubt uh, please let me know uh, I will try to answer them and if you think uh, I have missed means uh, I have took a very uh, high overview type of uh, uh, questions so please let me know I will do in depth if you want me to okay so take care of your time and take care of yourself guys okay bye